Hi, buddy. Welcome to the show. <laughs> uh, I'm cold. I'm cold. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Today we are enjoying a beautiful summer day and we're gonna do a little experiment using our kiddie pool and some things we found around the house. Um, we're gonna see what sinks and what floats. So this is a great activity because it's science and math at the same time. So we're doing an experiment and we're doing hypothesis, uh, scientific method, um, finding, drawing conclusions from what we, how our experiment goes. But it's also math because we're going to be doing some data management and some tallying. It's a great multi-subject experiment and it's going to be a lot of fun because we get to get wet. So come do what we're doing. We have a bunch of things yeah. in our basket, right Alexi? Yes. Yeah. So we have some cardboard. Oh, a cucumber. A piece of cucumber. We have some bowls. We have some toys. Um, all kinds of things. And then we got some natural and materials some rocks, too. And some paper and some... Pom pom and, and that's what Zoe pinned her nose at <laughs> Yep, yesterday we went to the hospital because Zoe stuck a pom pom up her nose. Yeah. Yep. Um, and we also got some natural materials. We got some uh, flowers, a leaf, and a stick. So we're going to see yep. what sinks and what floats. Maybe this is going to sink or float. We're going to see if it sinks or floats. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a guess yep. for each item. So you're going to guess, is this going to sink or is it float? What do you think? Gonna sink. You're gonna sink? Okay, throw it in. Yeah. You're right, it did sink. So, yeah. you're gonna grab it, put it by the sign that says sink. Good job. And now we're gonna do that for the next thing. So pick something else. This float. You think the pom-pom's gonna float? Wait. You're right. Sink or float, pick something else. I mean, float. Float? Yes, it's because it's too big. You think it's so big that's why it floats? I'm coming here. The toy next? Yeah, toy. The toy. Sink or float? What do you think? Look at Dad. What you, show him what it is. Your poor hair. So today we have a dinosaur, a toy dinosaur. So we are going to see if this sink. Yeah! Oh! oh. <laughs> uh, why does the same thing float? Why does it float? Yeah. Oh you thought it was going to sink and you threw it down to the bottom, but it floated it right up. up. So you got to go put it in the float pile. Metal bottle, what do you think? Uh. Sink or float? What do you think, Alexi? Oh, it floats. It floats. But what would happen, Alexi? Look yeah. at me. Yeah. If I filled it with water. Me and it. Hmm? Let's see. Let's see if I filled it with water. Yeah. Put the lid back on. Now what do you think will happen? Mm. <laughs> it sinks. Oh my goodness. So this one, it's a sinker and a floater. So I think you should put it in the middle, between both sides. Yeah. Wait, here? Good job. All right. Hey, you didn't guess. Oh. You didn't hypothesize. Hypothesize. Make a good guess. Uh, it's got float. What would happen if I filled it with water? That's a good idea. Yes, you just did. Great question, Lexi. Drop it in. Is it a sink or a float? It sank. It sank. Yeah. Kind of goes well, in the middle. It's kind of in the middle, but it is definitely down more. So, so it's still buoyant, but it's not, it's not right. floating up. I would put it in the middle. What are you picking? A cucumber. Oh, we got a, the end piece of a cucumber. What do you think? Sink or float? Float. Float? Yeah, it's floating. Yeah. It's, it's floating. What do you think it's going to do? Okay, go ahead. Oh, good guess. It went right to the bottom. It walked. What do you think? Sink or float? Quick, quick, before you Sink. do it. Piece of paper? Show daddy. A uh, piece of paper. And it's gonna... Sink. Sinker. Oh, float. You thought it was gonna sink? 
Yeah. And it floats? What happens if the paper gets wet? <gasps> Look, it's sinking. It's sinking. It's sinking. The paper got wet and then it sank. When it was dry, did it, it sink or float? It float. And then what happened once it got wet? It sunk. It sunk. It sunk as soon as it got full of water. And then look, now it floats again. Yeah. That's pretty neat. So where are you going to put that one? Go put it in the between pile. It sinks and it floats. <gasps> what do we got? What is that? Uh, the marker. No, it's a crayon. Yeah, you got the crayon there. And what do you think? It's gone. Yeah! It sunk. Yeah. Actually, Dad thought that was going to float. I did too. I was certain that was going to float. Go put it in the sink pile. The sink is not raining! You got a stick? Yeah, a stick. What do you think? Yeah. Sink or float? Float! Ooh, it's gas. What do you think? Sink uh, or float? Float! Right, it does float. Good, Alexi. So we got a cherry, a crayon, and a spoon in the sink pile. Hey, what's in the float pile? Uh, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff? You got some flowers, a stick, a piece of cucumber, oh, yeah. cardboard, pom-pom, a clothespin, a leaf, all kinds of stuff in the float pile. And what do we have in the middle? Some paper. What's this? Uh, some balloon. And? And a bottle. Great. Can we find the water? <gasps> Tell Dad, was that a fun experiment? Yeah. What did you think of that? Okay. Did you learn like, a lot? Yeah. What are you going to do with that water? Hey! Does Zoe sink or float? What do you think? So if you want to see more science experiments, let us know what things you would like to see, what kind of experiments you'd like. We hope that you enjoyed our activity today and if you found it useful and valuable, we hope we earned your subscription. So make sure you click subscribe and the bell to get notifications. And if you want to see more stuff that we do on a daily basis, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you next time. Bye. Bye. What do you say, Lexi? I'm not making squeaky. <laughs> if you like what you saw, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to get notifications when we upload our latest videos. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to leave us a comment. We'll see you next week for more activities, adventures, and lifelong learning. Bye! Bye.